I was home on break and I decided to try and write something new. I started off with an outline that consisted solely of girl moves to big city, starts a business, falls in love, question mark, which seems innocent enough, but trust me, it gets way, way worse. I even started filming some of the writing process because I thought I was going to start a writing a new book vlog type of thing. It's forming really easily without an outline, which is kind of weird for me, but I'm really happy about it. So after the first two chapters, I decided to introduce the love interest. I plan to have them meet at like a scenic lookout area, something like a rooftop. Sound familiar? Well, it didn't to me at the time, so I kept going. That's about the time where my main character started a diary. I thought it would be fun to have a diary that she wrote in here and there that explained a lot of her past. I honestly thought this was the most creative idea. And no, I still didn't notice that anything was off about this story. And I didn't notice until I started to design a book cover, but we'll get to that in a minute. I don't know much yet. I just kind of have a vague plot that I want to follow. So I'm doing that until I hit a roadblock and I need to do more outlining. So she starts her business soon after. Luckily, I didn't make it a flower shop. My main character had a photography store. I know, real original of me. Except for the fact that it was in Boston, she was running it, and also her first employee was her best friend. From there, I think I was just kind of blinded by my excitement for the story. Nothing was suspicious to me, not even when I was looking up names for the love interest, and I was only looking at names that started with R. So this is about the time I decided to try, just for fun, to design the book cover. I knew I wanted something light, maybe pink, with some flowers on the side, and some dark pink lettering. I didn't have a title yet, but I put title in thick dark pink letters. I thought it looked so good, so I like sat back and stared at it for a minute. So it started looking a little familiar. And that's when it hit me. I had just written It Ends With Us. 